hungry? Because if so, you're in the right place. Today, we're making a Tameshi dish. It's tuna with stracciatella and a yuzu amatsu dressing. Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Guts. Well, you saw what we have to do today. It's going to be amazing. But before we have a look at the board and the ingredients, as always, if you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, and I know a lot of you aren't, please do me the favor, hit that subscribe button and check the bell icon so that you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode comes out. Now, let's have a look. Our board today looks pretty finished, and that's because I've prepped most of the stuff already. We have some olive oil, we have our yuzu amatsu, we have some wasabi, some chopped chives just to decorate, and we have our stracciatella. First, let's have a look at how we did our yuzu amatsu. For our yuzu amatsu, we need rice vinegar, soy sauce, sugar, and yuzu juice. And it's an easy recipe because it's, um, let's we'll start with the sugar, equal quantities per volume of sugar, soy sauce, and soy sauce and uh, vinegar. So we'll make 50, 50 milliliters. I was a bit too optimistic. I'll put that in a pot because we're going to melt it. Now 50 of vinegar. And 50 soy. And we put it on top of the sugar. And now we need to dissolve this over heat on the stove. So I'll see you once it's dissolved. Dissolved. Now obviously it goes quicker if you stir. And now we add our yuzu. This is a bit according to taste. We start with a teaspoon, see what we get. I think one more teaspoon, and then it will have the right sweetness to acidity balance. Mm, perfect. That's the amatsu, our yuzu amatsu. Really simple dressing, keeps for a long time in the fridge, so really worth making. Our stracciatella, it's not much to it, but we did some pimping of it, so let's have a look at that. Our stracciatella is really simple. It's stracciatella, but we need to season it a bit. So we put in a good pinch of salt, too. And four turns on the pepper mill. White pepper. And then we just mix this up. Give it a try if it got the desired taste. Perfect. That's how easy the <laughs> stracciatella is. Again, very simple steps to make it taste even better. And now, last but not least, our tuna. I'll show you how we prep that. For our tuna prep, we're gonna cut this up in more or less equal pieces. Don't worry too much if they're not exact. These are going to be a bit bigger. And now get out some cling film. We have our cling film here. I have my trusted smash burger smasher. And now we need to smash this flat. It's going to be loud. Mm. 
and that's pretty much it. I need to do this to all of your pieces of tuna, so to get a nice flat piece like this. And that's all the prep we need for the tuna. Again, really easy. And all that's left now is basically put it all together. We need to grate a bit of wasabi, but the rest is done. So let's get the plate out and let's start plating this. The first thing we need to do is to add our stracciatella. Up to you how much you want to plate. I think that's a good portion. And now we're gonna get in and cover this with our tuna. Two slices will do the trick for us. And now for a yuzu amatsu. Be generous with this. And a little bit of olive oil. And now we'll grate the wasabi. But before we do that, a couple of things I wanted to mention. This dish, again, is from Cucina Itameshi. And they make it a bit different. They make it with a wasabi oil instead of fresh wasabi. I just couldn't get the oil here. I, I could order it, but it would have taken too long. So I was lucky enough to get a wasabi root. And one more thing. If you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about this episode. So do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's just down there. It takes you a second, but it's so valuable for me to get my content out there in the YouTube universe. So don't forget, thumbs up. Now, let's great the wasabi. Now the, you already can feel the flavor. We're just gonna dot some over. How much is really up to you. It's strong, but it's not, it's not too strong. I think we're getting close to a good, good quantity. And last but not least, our chives. Let's give it a try. Now you can either just get in there with your hands, like I do. Mm. Oh, that is good. You have the punch of the wasabi, the umami packed dressing. The creaminess of the burrata. This is just a great dish. That I can take no credit for. Mm. Go so well together. Now, another itameshi dish for you. I hope you enjoy it. It's not very difficult, as you saw. Give it a try yourself. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I always answer them. But that's pretty much it for today. Now I'm going to serve up two plates of this for my family as well. And I think they will love it too. But until next time, ah, before you go, if you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe and check the bell icon. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.